You've drawn our lines off to Sonji in order to strike at Koritanai's undefended flank. True enough, for what good the knowledge will do you. You're finished, Knight. Your castle will be ours. Bend the knee to us and we'll spare your life. You dishonor me by the mere suggestion, Butcher of Goliath. I am a Knight of Gagastan. You will not take this castle while I yet draw breath. Boss! What's wrong, Denim of Goliath? Do not tell me the Butcher hesitates to draw blood. You and I are foes. Of this there is no doubt. One of us will triumph here, and the other will be cast into the abyss. Now come, show to me the quality of a hero among Wollaster. <laughs> uh, it ends. The castle in your hands, father. <laughs> In the name of the armies of Gargastan, I, Briam Dodaro, surrender this castle to you. What defenders remain have already thrown down their arms. I beg you, take their freedom, not their lives. You're not the first Dodaro I have met this day. I, you slew my son, Hector, but I do not weep. He died in utmost service to his sovereign, and with bravery in defense of our house's honor. Hmm. The men and women behind me are those whom the Hierophant imprisoned here for treachery. You requested them brought here, and I have done so. Yet my clansmen, they remain. Tell me, Wallister, are these enemies of the Hierophant your enemies as well? What wrong have they done us? We are not the resistance of old. Our quarrel is not with the people of Galgastan. The generations-long conflict between your clan and ours never was. Always it has been men with power, men such as the Hierophant and the Duke, who throw their people at one another to further their own ambitions. It is not the Golgastani who must answer for this bloodshed. It is Balbatos and his ilk. Springtime words from the mouth of a youth. Let us pray to the Father that they remain true through the winter to come. Hmm. <laughs> What will you do, Yunan? I am inspired to throw my lot upon the wheel and trust this Wallister. I see. Denim of Goliath, this man before you once aided the Hierophant in his blood war against your people. Yet he knows now the error of his ways and seeks to atone. Allow me one request. Take him with you. Give him his chance. If he has sinned, then my sin is greater still. I bear him no enmity. You are welcome to join us, Yunin. Thank you.
Wish they'd sent us to fight at Sonji. Beats a supply run to Brigantis at any rate. Ah, and now it snows. Bad to worse, eh? Ah. Who's there? Golgastani Outriders. More swift than I expected. Wallister? In these godforgotten lands? They must have crossed the Brigania Flats. Troops on their way to resupply Brigantis by the look. They must not know the castle has already fallen. Roads to Ashton are shut off, and we have heard if Ashton had fallen. Could this rabble have taken Brigantis? Impossible! Sir Hector would never surrender the castle! Balbatos has not taken notice of us. A rare stroke of luck. news of the castle's fall has not reached them is Sir Hector's doing, Denim. Sir Hector? Why? He has no love for Balbatos. But you know Sir Hector, loyal to a fault, he and his father both. They would never oppose Balbatos openly. When you arrived at Brigantus, he understood your true purpose. He and his father set in motion a plan to ease your way. W what plan? Never should have come to this blasted place. What is it? Two days since we last heard from Brigantis? Hmm. Two at least. It's not like Sir Hector. Hmm. Perhaps the weather turns foul. Brigania Flats is often beset with storms this time of year, no? True enough. But if snows had blocked the roads, I expect the company we sent to resupply Brigantis would have turned back by now. 
<laughs> when did you find time to sharpen that dull wit of yours? Dull or not, I'm right, most like. If the High Commander finds out aught is amiss, it's your neck, not mine. I'll worry about my neck. You worry about yours. And pray address me properly as Jacurian. Jacurian, a party approaches! Friend or foe? Can't say. But they're not from Brigantis. A Galgastani patrol. We can't let them alert Karitani. To battle! of your approach would not reach Caritani. They even ordered the garrison's forces divided, else your siege of Brigantis would never have succeeded. House Didaro values loyalty and honor above all else, so none doubted their intentions. Why not join our cause outright? For one thing, they did not know if you were a worthy ally or just another would-be duke. For another, they hold their honor too dear. They could not openly betray their lord. Sir Hector let us take the castle. Aye, and his life. I am sure that by now his father, Sir Briam, joins him. What? Wallisters? Here? So these Wallister dogs are the reason Brigantus has fallen silent. Their heads will make fine gifts for Sir Zabos.
Wonder crossing Brigania Flats gave you no trouble. You fight like lions. <sighs> Hoping to take Karitani from the rear, I figure. Truly, we face one of Galgastan's finest military minds. <sighs> when our armies return from Sanji, your time will come. Uh, uh, uh. isn't far now. We must press on. So it's done. The Wallister are broken. They are, my lord. Sir Zabos does not disappoint. Indeed not. Now all that remain are Branton and the Dark Knights. Still, even with Armorica, defeating them will be no small task. <laughs> my lord! The Wallister! They're here! Calm yourself. You speak in tongue, soldier. They lay siege to the castle. How many are there? I, I, I don't know, sir. What do we do? Meet them with every man who can hold a sword. Yes, sir. The remnants of their army couldn't have broken through our lines. Unless... Sanji was a diversion. I am Denim Pavel. Hear me, Leandar Balbatos. Open the gates of Karitani and surrender. Kneel without a fight, and I will ensure you a fair reckoning. Resist us, and we will release Heaven's judgment upon you for your crimes. What hole did I crawl from? Listen up, boys. We only need hold these walls until our main host returns. Let not one of them into the keep!
Listen well, interlopers. The Wollaster host was routed in the field. You're fighting for a lost cause. So they weren't able to hold in Sanji. Unfortunate, but our course remains the same. We've a keep to take.
for when Sir Zabos returns with his legions, you will die. Sounds like another way to say you're doomed unless your friends come to save you. Wishful thoughts, Kerr! It is a long way for word to travel to Sonji. And as long for your legions to return. So... so... close. Deploy Denim of Goliath. But this keep still stands, and by the might of Galgastan, she will not fall. What are you doing with those Wallister Blackguards? 
Daisy, how many seasons have passed since we last met? If you are here, then Brigantis has fallen, and the traitors to the Hierophant conspire with the Wallister. True enough, though I mislike your choice of words. We are not criminals, but brothers in arms, seeking not more conflict, but peace. not know the past of this man you called your ally, Denim of Goliath. His sword is wet with the blood of innocence, and his boots dark with the ashes of their village. It is true. I have no desire to deny what I have done. Nor do I deny that it was a terrible mistake, a weighty sin upon my soul. All those who lent aid to Balbatos' blood war were ogres, ogres in men's flesh. You blame his eminence? It was you upon the field of battle! You who mistook friend for foe! You speak as though your own hands were not stained dark with the blood of innocence. Innocence! Do not brand me with your iron traitor! I fought only the enemies of this kingdom, gnawing vermin like you, who place the blame for their own sins upon our lord. Killing the Hierophant now would do little to absolve my guilt. I was a man changed then. Those villagers, something dark inside me moved my hand to cut short their cries for mercy. I believed in my black heart that I did my duty for Galgastan, that I served my people even as I slew them. But what did I serve other than death? I watched as the light faded from the eyes of our people, and fear grew in their hearts. I watched as the beauty that was Galgastan perished. Foolishness! You would have us return to the years of Dorgalawa's rule, is that it? When the Bakram and Wallister dined at the king's table, while the Galgastani were left to forage for scraps, you would throw away all we built this kingdom for. Where is the beauty in that, I ask you? You decry the injustices of Dorgalawa while you wish them upon the Wallister? You would strip them, and your own clansmen, of their freedom. The Hierophant's justice has failed, and his people abandon him. Surely you see it, Daisy. You cannot build a castle upon shifting sands. As you wish, Yunin. We will let the battle decide who has the right of it.
<sighs> Glory uh, to Galkistan. Our forces have taken the keep. It is over. No closer, Wallister. I'll never kneel to the likes of you. You have no choice. Foulest of days. We won, Insanji. We won! I said stay back, insolent cretins! Your keep is taken and your men are slain, Balbatos. Yield! You were wrong, Wallister. I do have a choice. He's dead. I wonder how Vice has fared. Where is Denu? Speak! How should... I know. Run off somewhere. I'd wager. You expect me to believe the hero of the Wallace turned tail and fled? Tell me what you're scheming, or I'll quiet you for good. Sir! The Wallister, they've taken Karitanai. What? How is that possible? A force crossed the Brigania Flats and assaulted the keep from her flank. Madness. What of the Hierophant? Surely he's not... Slain, sir. The docks showed no mercy. The Hierophant? Slain? <laughs> he did it! He really did it! <laughs> you vile, scheming creature! <sighs> How stand our ranks? Sir, we have roughly four companies remain, sir. Godspeed! We've lost more than I thought. Send Brutakos and Mansa to Koritanai. We will march on El Morica. At once, sir. A demon of Goyard will pay for this.
Good day. We'll both be caught here. I'll stay and slow the enemy. You go on ahead. I owe you an apology, Ravnis. I thought you could not be trusted. Forgive me. You are one of us. You're kind, but there's naught to forgive. Now go. See to our young lord of Coritani. You could slip away, did you? Warriors of Galgastan, Karitani has fallen. Balbatos is slain by his own hand. Surrender and save yourselves. I did not think Karitani would fall so swift. Wallace lies. Shut your ears to their slander. Seize the woman. Slay the rest! Dame Ravnus, rally to us!
Already you lead the armies of Almorica. Sir Leonar gave his life to make it so. Almamusa, Sir Leonar, how many more must I send to their death? A brave man, Sir Leonar. I knew him well. 
He would bear any dishonor for his country. You're looking well, all things considered. I see you've not changed, Canopus. Not as you have. There's a rose in your cheeks. It suits you. You had a grim look when we first met at Almorica. I was confused about a great many things, but no longer. Aye. To the business at hand, then. So many foes in need of mortality. So, this is Dame Ravnus. She's no enemy of ours. Easy, Denim. Sir Briam told me all. A Wollaston knight who toils for Galgastan is a rare creature indeed. What do you mean? She's well regarded among those who oppose Balbatos. And Balbatos's men think of her less as a Wollaston knight than a rogue within their own camp. Dame Ravnus? A Golgastani rebel? I'd sooner have the tale from her, but she'll not talk if she's dead. It is a great burden he has passed to you. But who am I to fault him for that? You're too hard on yourself. Am I? Balma Musa was a foul business. It was unfair of us to ask one so young to bear so much. We trusted to your strength, when we ought to have heeded our own wisdom. chosen another path at Balmamusa. I might have died in Sir Leonar's place, but there is no undoing what is done. You press on because you must, bearing your shame upon your shield.
Yeah. <laughs> 
Dame Ravnus, are you all right? Thank you, yes. I live to fight another day. It was the Golgastani who pursued you, and a Golgastani whom you helped escape. I admit I'm rather confused. The knight you saw opposes the Hierophant. It was Balbatos' loyals who gave chase. To what end? The Lord of Critani is the rightful ruler of Golgastan. Hierophant Balbatos is merely his steward. As the young lord was not yet of age, Balbatos was free to reshape Galgastan as he saw fit. The poor child was a piece in a game he scarce knew existed. We had hoped to reach him before your assault on Critani. Where is he now? Balbatos' enemies shelter him. With Critani sacked and Balbatos dead, I should think they'll take him to Brigantis. A great many of their number hold the castle. Good people, and true. That's right. You've met them, haven't you? It is they who reached out to me to aid in the Reformation. Of Galgastan, you mean? Of course. Not everyone in Galgastan wanted war with the Wallister. And surely the same is true of the Wallister. It is war we hate, not each other. What better way to bring peace to both people than to change Galgastan from within? Peace without bloodshed. With my mixed blood, I thought myself a fitting standard bearer for the cause. <sighs> I had but to open my eyes and see. And when I did, a new truth emerged. A way for Wallister and Galgastani both to emerge victorious. A worthy goal. One I share. Join us, Ravnus. Fight at our side. Our paths parted at Balmamusa, but we seek the same thing. Look past what is done and lend me your steel. You've grown much since Balmamusa. My sword is yours. <laughs>